Sir Harry K in the trade for the boys. We work hard, guys. You guys know we work hard. We started off from nothing today. We're here. I wanna show you guys something. Come through, come through, check this out, guys. This is the account. I wanna show you guys the MT4 platform. This is the account. And this is how much was made in total. And I know a lot of the times many people actually fake this, guys. This is a real account. Let me just refresh this. I'm gonna refresh and basically put in the trades for this trading account, guys. I'm gonna go to trading history. Yo, guys, work hard, guys. Work hard. When I show you how we're able to do this, guys, how we're able to actually grow the account to 700k profits. Yes, sir. Let me come here, guys. Let's show you. This is what we have over here. 700k made. We're gonna teach you guys how to do that. I'm gonna actually trying to prove a point. I know most of you guys know where we come from. I know many of you guys know that we're real. I'm just making sure those who are new, those who just discovered the boys, know what we're about. We're actually about trading forex for real. We are real time traders. We're gonna show you guys how to do the same thing. And we give you guys all this information completely for free. So we really appreciate it if you hit the like button, hit the sub button, and don't forget to switch on your post notification bell so you're notified next time we drop we're gonna help you guys make money please make sure you take this video to 10k likes let's go your mental let's go it's just a goat no it's a fucking goat If it's go to your mentor, we are out here, man. You know the vibes. What's happening, bro? <laughs> we're here to pick up the eye, guys. Let me show you uh, guys. We're about to get yeah. into the video, actually. Just stop at here. at BMW right now. Yeah. So, one thing for sure, guys. When we came here, I actually got a mail. So, wondering what's inside. You can see, guys, that's my name over there. Yes, sir. Uh, I've been pre-selected for something for f &B. Yes, sir. It's who we're banking with, basically. So, I got this mail this morning. Pre-selected, man. Pre-selected, guys. <laughs> you guys know we've grown a lot. We're FS Gold Car number 17 currently. You guys know we own a few properties. We now actually own land as well. We own a few land as well. Yeah. And guys, one got, thing. Yeah. What I got yo, from yo. I also want to tell you guys if you, uh, something else. One thing I want to tell you guys, you need to diversify your portfolio, yeah. enter properties, do Fact. rentals, you know, own Fact. land. Don't Fact. just be a trader, Fact. man. Fact. Fact. Focus more on becoming Ooh. you. <laughs> you, a multi-millionaire. Hey, 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 you see, Yo. guys, that is the seven figure. Seven figure tapa teams. Yes. Seven streams. <laughs> seven streams tapa millionaire way. You. God damn, you. baby. God ah, it's damn. too much. No, no, Which one is this one, though? Yo, dog, I don't know. It's actually... It's metal. Oh, it's a metal one. It's metal. Yeah. Okay. And they gave you in jail. Oh, yeah. you even ordered it. Pre-selected. You even ordered it. Pre-selected. I'm going to keep this safe. Yes, sir. So, guys, as you guys know, we're here for the I-8. Yeah. And then from there, we're just going to pick up the I-8 and we're going home. As you guys saw the thumbnail, man, when I finish the whole video, guys, we're going to help you learn how to make 700k. You guys know the vibes. Ever's got your mental. Let's get it. This the boy with the LV. As you guys saw, last time we got the car, we thought we were going to play. Today, we're 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 going to play. Mainly because uh, they had to mail this as well. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see it? Yeah? We had to wait for this. They had to mail this to us. That's our permit. We have a permit for the boys. And uh, that's why we now don't have number plates because the permit is not there. Some of you guys were saying, yo, hey, the car, we didn't buy it. Why does it come with a number plate? We also didn't know. As you guys saw, the car was wrapped. The car was covered. So we also didn't know it came with a number plate. Yes, sir. Let's go to your yes, sir. Sure. You guys know the first baby, the I8. Now we're here to see the father, man. You know what I mean? This is the father. Woo, what you got this dog? Guys, cover the levels. Imagine fetching your I8 with an X6. <laughs> we're gonna help you guys how to escape the matrix. Same thing we're doing, man. It could be whatever age it's possible. Only if you know. There's different types of information, guys. So if you use conceptual knowledge, it's knowledge you learn from school, everybody knows that knowledge. And there's different types of knowledge, like knowledge that top 1% knows. And that's why you're here for, to learn that. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to our channel. For those who reached this time to the video, please hit the like button, the sub button, and also share the video. If you guys saw the thumbnail of the video, we're going to help you guys learn how to make over 700K 
in a trade what we do about a trade guys we're talking about you actually having a planned trade at a particular time and moment and that is what we're going to talk about in this video guys there's four quadrants when it comes to the forex market guys and those are the risks you're going to use and how much money you're going to make continuously as a trader so the first phase and this is where many of you guys actually fall under we have the first quadrant a lot of you guys use a lot of risk but you never make money because you are a beginner you don't know what you're doing in the market just use a lot of high risk over leveraging your trades and you lose money the difference between other people and how we pursue trading is that a lot of people forget that this is an industry much like being a doctor much like being an accountant you need seven to five years in order for you to become successful yeah. same thing applies in our industry guys in order for you to become successful you need to put in the hours you need to put in the years and also get the experience in order for you to become a successful trader however what happens in forex trading guys many of you guys just have forex trading literally today right. and tomorrow you decide you know what let me just go to the market put in all my money and learn how to trade by doing that that is why you fall under the first quadrant so when we talk about the second quadrant that's where we talk about people who are actually a bit more experienced you've been trading for maybe three years you've been trading for a few months it depends how far you are in your journey and how far you've battled the emotions of each that's something we want to talk about as well when we go on with the video so those who fall under the second quadrant basically use a lot of low risk and low reward many of you guys who are in this category is because you are basically in a break-even point like you come from losses now you're basically getting your lessons once you move forward from there you're going to be in your blessings and that's how the three steps of life works what applies most to you guys is mindset yeah. a lot of people take it as a, a light thing but guys mindset goes throughout forex business and also your life your mindset can literally determine how successful you can become in life as an individual mindset starts from what you think about yourself it's very important for you to know what do you think about yourself what is your beliefs how do you perceive yourself if you are able to tell yourself to do something are you a person to actually go through and do that thing yeah something i want to speak about as well part of the second quadrant is that you know you can become a victim of being conditioned when you talk about mind condition guys it's basically how the system is made to affect your mind but what i mean by that is you can either become an employee you can become part of the red race for me that has been my biggest fear there is nothing wrong with that you can become a well-paid slave yeah guys uh fun fact we've actually never been employees literally from university went straight into business yeah that's because we literally had the same mindset as you're talking about right here since then yeah so that's the mindset pre-varsity and post-varsity right the way i was thinking then to the way i'm thinking now is completely different because how i used to think before back to even the school days i used to wait for my teacher to tell me what to do everything for me was just forced i always had to wait around and just wait for somebody basically, to tell me basically basically you always wait for a command i mean if you're telling yourself i wanted to do one two three i always have to wait for somebody at a higher to tell, to tell me to do that yeah. like if i have work to do i will literally postpone forever up until i have the deadline up until somebody forces me to do that thing yeah and how is different now how i'm actually thinking right now since i've tend to become an entrepreneur so either you become an employee you wait around to be told what to do that is basically how the condition is to actually go to work right. and be told sit there do this do that there's nothing wrong it's completely nothing wrong but it's not for everybody so for those of you who actually want a different kind of life who want to live freely who want to become their own boss and be able to do whatever they need to do and be able to live a life of financial freedom and to be able to live in abundance so what i'm talking about guys is becoming an entrepreneur you can always become you know a stock trader you can become a forex trader you can basically have businesses you can invest in skills you can become influencer the list goes on you know what i mean so what i'm talking about here guys is how i used to think back then to the way i'm thinking now I'm not about waiting for somebody to tell me what to do. I have to tell myself I'm my own boss. I decided to be an entrepreneur. So when I treat myself as a boss, if somebody was there seeing what I'm doing, how would I feel about that? You know what I mean? So that gives me the momentum to take initiative to change my life. Any situation that you are currently in your life, you need to take it as your own responsibility because information you share with people, how people take them is basically influenced by how they perceive themselves. Right. So if you perceive yourself in a way that you don't think you're going to become successful, will never be that's why many people don't become successful because they don't even consider it as a possibility yeah, they don't believe the in themselves yeah mindset. in the first place so that is basically a mindset guys so we're able to condition our mindset change our mindset and that is how we're able to break through so what i'm going to talk about in the third quadrant that is what we actually did in this specific video guys to be able to make over 700k in a trade so a trade as i told you guys the trading session we basically analyze and prepare for a particular trades and execute them according to our trading plan so when we talk about the third 
important that is why you're using a lot of high risk and you're expecting a lot of high reward however the bad news is you can also lose as well you need to be experienced this is also called scalping right? yes, this is financial. for people who are at 100 yeah. percent um, yeah i can give you guys an example money you can afford to lose basically yes uh yeah. you need to make sure that guys in order for you to become uh, successful you need to have the right cycle which cycle are you in? I can give you guys an example. If you basically stay around healthy, like-minded individuals, let me give you an example. Let's say you go to a whole mansion or a whole house whereby there's 10 guys there. You are the ninth one. All these guys have a healthy mindset. All these guys in the morning, they wake up, they hit the gym. Literally, they sit in front of the computer or their desk to literally put on the work eight hours to 10 hours a day each and every time and later on they do what they need to do basically you being involved in that type of environment will literally change your life as well because you will adapt into those habits yeah. you will see how people yeah. are living and hence you want to see as people we are very competitive beings much like animals if you see someone doing better than you next to you that also influences you to improve yourself because we don't want to feel ashamed yeah. we don't shame feel, is shame the worst, worst feeling is the it? worst feeling as the worst feeling. to feel embarrassed or sad about yourself that is the worst thing yeah. as long as you can feel that as long as you're in an environment whereby that challenges you you're able to change if you're not in an environment or second whereby you can become at your hundred make sure you find that environment online it could be us it could be anyone else just make sure you're in the right circle invest in knowledge man. yes invest in yourself be in the right mindset yeah. Have people who have the same goals as you and I promise you, you can achieve those goals. Fourth and final quadrant is the low risk, high reward quadrant. That is a method you can use that is different from scalp trading. It's actually called swing trading. You need to be skilled to be able to have the swing trading skills. And that is actually going to get you to be at a point where you can make a lot of money and still apply low risk and get high rewards so how you do it guys is you use a very small loss size and when we talk about loss size we're talking about the risk we take when you actually put in your trades i want to show you guys the video here this is where i was actually trading this account guys on this account i use low risk as you can see all my loss size the loss size was actually smaller than the standard lot which is loss size one and on there i was able to make a lot of money and this was a big account and i still used less than one lot size i usually use 0.41 as you can see these are the trades that are two but before you even go there guys for those of you who want to attend a 10 dollar to hundred dollars in a matter of hours or something like that in this video as you guys saw in the thumbnail we're going to teach you how to do that how to apply the third quadrant and that is the high risk and the high reward what i want to add on in order for you to become a millionaire in order for you to become wealthy you need to know that a lot of people don't take it seriously but you need to have seven income streams someone who's just a trader someone who just has one or two income streams literally is tied down to becoming a thousand air as long as you have just low amount of streams you can make as much money as you can in each field but that won't make you a millionaire or it can actually take you 10 years or 20 years longer just to become a millionaire right. so guys you need to learn as people how to diversify yourself basically increase your portfolio do businesses study currencies broaden your skills. basically guys broaden yourself broaden your skills go into different industries that's how you can become a millionaire because a millionaire has seven income streams each stream basically adds up all the type of money you can make and all together they make you a millionaire and that's how you get to a point now where you're able to trade the money you can afford to for those of you guys who've reached so far to the video, we'd like to thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're now actually going to cover how we're able to turn 700k in a single trade, and we did that during NFP. This is fundamentals. Let's get it. Let's get it. And we back. Those of you who made it so far to the video, we'd like to thank you guys so much. We are finally going to cover how to make 700k in a day, guys. Remember, we're going to be teaching you how we're able to do that so that you can be able to do the same thing for yourself. No matter where you're coming from financially, there's always a way for you to make money within the market. So for those of you who so far, thank you so much. So guys, I'm basically going to cover the fundamental analysis of what we did together with the technical analysis. However, it's not going to be possible for me to cover every single topic when it comes to technical analysis and fundamental analysis because it's not going to be possible to have all of that in a single video so what we did is we do have the fs code triple no program those of you who are complete beginners or you have no knowledge in forex whatsoever you can check out our program below the fs code triple no all in one program to be able to learn exactly how to get where we are today but for those of you guys who are still struggling financially that is why we make these videos to help you guys learn how to trade and once you get to a point where you want to join an actively trading community you're gonna find us here because we've proven to you that we've done the proper research and we can actually help you reach your financial goals and be able to become a consistently profitable trader as you guys know i'm going to be sharing with you guys a secret on how we're able to basically take this trade right 
this is the account that we had i started from 160 you can also start for like 60 dollars 160 dollars remember guys sometimes it's always better to actually start above 100 dollars in order for you to be able to survive any drawdowns because we also do take losses as you guys saw even at the beginning of the video we don't just show profits we do experience losses so let's start part of the game at the end of the day it's all about how much do you lose when you're wrong and how much do you win when you are right right so i want you guys to see here this is the account we're able to close an overall of 800k and we apply the third quarter strategy which is the high risk and high reward so you guys see this is what i was analyzing and when the market came i was able to execute my trades i want to show you guys exactly what happened we used both technical and fundamental analysis making it sentimental analysis and that is what i'm going to teach you guys in this specific video so first and first guys i'm going to cover a bit of technical analysis i want to show you guys how you can plan for these things i'm going to help you guys know how to find perfect entries because finding perfect entries is basically trying to work on your entry points and if you want to find good entry points you need to make sure you wait for high probability trading setups now when we talk about high probability trading setups guys is setups that actually makes you wait i've seen a lot of people guys who come to the forex market and actually rush taking trades you basically find your account today and already you executed a trade whereby you didn't even prepare for it so remember guys if you have no setup you have no trade you need to have a setup and take advantage of the setup and that is how you're going to be able to make money so what i have here guys is a bit of structure that i want to show you guys a bit this is what i want to show you so that you guys are able to understand what we mean when we talk about structure and this can also help educate those who have no knowledge when it comes to forex so that you're able to understand what we're talking about so what we have here guys is basically how the forex market moves let's say the market was on a bullish movement we have a bullish trend whereby the market was giving us a high and a low we're going to have a high high and a high low because when the market pushes up it goes higher than the previous high so we're going to have a higher high and this low is going to be low but the low is still higher than the previous low we call this a higher low higher low here at the bottom we call this a higher high because it's higher than the previous high so we use this since to identify whether we're in a bullish or a bearish market remember guys a bullish market is when the market is going up you think about it like a bull the market is going up and a bearish market is when the market is going down you can think about it like it's a bear the bear will push towards the downside and that is a bearish movement so what we're seeing here guys we had a bullish momentum and the market has been giving us impulse move correction impulse move correction impulse move correction impulse move and then the market broke the structure by actually pushing lower than the previous higher low so pushing lower than the previous high low made the market to create a lower low and this was the first indicator for us to know that we have a change of structure now the market continues going up however it doesn't push above the high high making a lower high as you can see now this high is lower than the previous high making it a lower high so now from here we can understand that there is some sort of break of structure and from there we call this area here guys our selling zone right the opposite is also true meaning that whenever we're here guys this is what we're going to use in order for us to understand whether we're going for sales or for buys so if you check this out guys the market was not able to cross above so let's say for example the market crossed above here we're going to look for further push towards the upside but because the market failed to push above the market failed to go even further up it went down that is why we're going to look for a further push towards the downside so that is just market structure guys and one thing i want you guys to understand is that when it comes to the forex market we have a floor and a ceiling guys so when we come here i'm going to call this area here our resistance i'm going to call this here our resistance and at the bottom so basically guys we have a support and we have a resistance this means that we're expecting the market to actually move within this specific region you know what i mean so should the market break this area here we we'll expect the market to continue going towards the upside the reason is once the market breaks a resistance that resistance will now tend to become a support basically think about it like you're in a flat or you're in a house once you break the top of the house you're going to land on top now that top is now going to be a support it was before resisting but once you break and you come on top it's going to become a support and that is why once we break our resistance we're going to look for a further push towards the upside now the opposite is also very true if we have a support here at the bottom let's say this area here is our support and the market breaks below it will now make it a resistance giving it the momentum to continue pushing towards the downside because once we break here you're gonna fall towards the nearest floor so now we're gonna look 
for a new floor to basically look for our new support and this is what we're going to use in order for you to be able to execute the same trades that we took when we're actually trading during nfp so guys what we did there we were trading during nfp so when we trade during nfp guys that is something i want you guys to understand this time around we were trading during nfp and what i've just taught you is what happened on this trade we took this trade during nfp this is one of the best trades that we took this year remember guys we took a lot of trades there's times where i held swing trades those were some of my best trades but this is my best trade for the year because of how much i was able to make in the shortest period available usually guys i use the fourth quadrant and that is the low risk high reward but for times where you have money to afford to lose and you want to reach the next level you can also attempt the third quadrant strategy whereby you can use high risk high reward because at the end of the day you can change your life without taking some sort of risk remember from the first risk you can stop right there and be able to use the fourth quadrant as long as you know you push yourself to a different level and from there you need to broaden your options you don't need to continue doing that because it's going to be too risky it's already high risk so from there that's how you're able to broaden up and continue moving like that that is basically a strategy i can give you guys in order for you to make money so what happened here this was us and i'll also show you nasdaq as well on us 30 guys this is what we had on this specific pair the market was pushing up high lows high highs you guys can see and we failed to break our resistance now the news was coming at that time and once the news came guys because we failed to break above we took ourselves as you guys saw in the video and that is how i was able to make that trade high risk high reward same thing happened on nasdaq the market has been moving like so but we do understand that we were at a resistance especially where we have the blue as i saw this was at some point our very strong support and it made it a new form resistance right so with the resistance we're looking for the market to actually push above this area for us to continue looking for buys but the market failed to do that and as you guys can see we did have a trend inside the trend whereby this trend was helping us to be able to identify whether we break out or not because once we break out from here we can't expect the market to go up but the market failed to break up and it continued pushing towards downside remember guys this is what i mean when i say you plan for your trades prior so we planned prior and by so doing we analyzed and waited for the market to have the news effect. Remember guys, news doesn't create direction. It only creates volatility. You already have to know the direction at hand. You just have to analyze, prepare, and wait for the market to play out. Same thing like fishing. The market rewards those who are patient. Those who are impatient and were not able to wait for this opportunity lost money a lot especially in places like this. But for us who are patient, we had a setup in place. We had to see whether the market is going up or down for us to take an entry as you can see the market went down already when the news came it gave it the momentum to push even further and that is how we're able to execute those trades and make all the money that we made now guys to continue with the lesson i'm going to be covering a bit of what is fundamentals fundamental analysis part one i'm going to also show you guys where to look for this certain news how do i know when this news comes and how you can take advantage of both technical and fundamental analysis together to find such good trading setups now if we think about it this makes a whole lot of sense just like in your economics 101 class it is supply and demand that determines price same thing applies in forex guys in our case the currency exchange rate so when we look at supply and demand it's looking at your support and the resistance being able to understand the difference between the two will help you understand the forex market a lot more easier those trading in the foreign exchange market which is forex rely on the same two basic forms of analysis that are used in the forex market like i told you guys before it's fundamental analysis and technical analysis in order for you to be able to use sentimental analysis you need to understand the major fundamental factors we don't just look at any news guys we don't just look at anything that happens in the market we need to make sure we have a direction we need to know what we're aiming for in order for us to improve the sources available to a fundamental trader are vast and varied meaning that there's a lot of them however there are a few that are more important than others like the central bank's announcement central banks can be a cause of significant volatility across most asset class like i told you guys it's volatility not direction their most important action is to raise or lower interest rates which can have a high impact on currencies stocks indices and even more right central banks also move the market we also need to look at the economic data and i want to show you where to check 
or this economic data. Almost every asset is affected by its wider economy, so fundamental traders will look for signs that an economy is growing or shrinking. If the economy is growing, you know you're going to look for buys, and if the economy is shrinking, you're going to look for sales in order for you to make profit. The key indicator of economic growth is gross domestic product, which calculates the sum of goods and services produced within the economy. However, employment and production reports are also important. Yes, guys, these are basically the NFP and how the country performs as a whole those are the economic data we need to look at in order for us to know whether the market will go towards the downside or the market will go towards the upside number two we also need to look at the inflation guys inflation impacts the market a lot this is another key economic factor which is inflation inflation occurs when the patient power of a given currency decreases and the straw breaks usually have the job of giving in check while avoiding deflation inflation doesn't just affect forex it affects bonds commodities stocks indices usually this is what affects the market as a whole we also need to look at the politics political change within a country can also play out across financial markets as a new president for example might make life harder for business or invest heavily in new infrastructure basically guys it's more like the same that happened let's say the ukraine war ukraine war also changed a lot within the market i want you guys to understand those who were trading during that time we knew how to take advantage of it. We knew what to look at. And those are the things you need to consider if you're going to be trading the Forex market. Now, another thing is natural disasters and seasonality. These are two factors seem unrelated to the markets, but will often drive volatility across multiple assets. I don't have to read all of these guys, but I can explain what I mean by this. Let's say, for example, we had NFP before COVID. Many of you guys, we can relate. We all lived through COVID. And many of you guys have seen there was a huge difference when it comes to NFP before COVID and after COVID. Before COVID, NFP used to be very volatile. It used to be a very huge market indicator. However, after COVID, recently, CPI is starting to be one of the most powerful indicators to look at. Guys. CPI is something I want you guys to focus on a lot. CPI is basically consumer price index. Those are the news I want you guys to look at as well. I'm going to show you how to look for this news. And knowing about these things, guys, will actually help you make money. I'm giving you guys these very hot tips. Not a lot of people know about this. And we're here telling you guys all of this completely for free because we care and we want to help you guys change your lives. Now, the bottom line is there are many economic indicators and even more private reports that can be used to evaluate forex fundamentals it's important to take the time to not only look at the numbers but to also understand what they mean and how they affect a nation's economy when properly used these indicators can be an invaluable resource for a currency trader meaning that anybody who's a foreign exchange market trader one thing i want to show you guys is also where to look for this specific market so basically guys i'm going to show you two types of news it depends whether you're a currency trader or you are more into the indices or synthetics so basically when it comes to currencies we are going to be looking at you know forex factory investing.com bloomberg all these other news facilities so first is first guys when you come to forex factory you need to make sure you come to filter you need to filter out all the low impact news you need to see and look at the high impact news and then you apply filter then from there you're able to see all the important news that is coming i want you guys to look at what happened the last week last week we had cpi cpi played out and the market killed this is something that we look at as well cpi is when the market moves in a certain way every beginning of the month we have what is called nfp nfp is what is currently competing with cpi cpi is also very strong this is when the market moved a lot this is where you look for this news so we knew around 9 a.m GDP had CPI, we knew around 330, CAD had CPI. Those are the things we need to look at. Go to that pair before that time, analyze and prepare for the trades. And once the news come, you're able to basically take advantage of that. Now, another thing, guys, is being able to look at indices market, you know, synthetics and all of that. Where you need to go, guys, you need to go to the market right here. Remember, guys, you can also use your phone. I want to also show you in the phone here. For the phone, you need to know which one has more impact. We need to see the difference between the top and the bottom. If the top has more impact, then the market will go towards the upside. And if the bottom has more impact, then the market will go towards the downside. So what I want you guys to understand is I'll come here and I'll go to US markets, right? US market. When I go to US market, we have all those things. We have NASDAQ here. NASDAQ is one of the pairs I traded during the fee, but this is NASDAQ as a whole. What you need to look at is NAS 100 on a bullish momentum this is one year you need to change to one day to be able to see remember guys you can also use your phone i'm gonna show you the phone as well it's really easy to use so that's how we see the market has been pushing you can see from the beginning of the year the market has been setting and ever since then we started moving on a more bullish momentum so the market can continue pushing towards the upside let's see which one is stronger i'll come here and i see we have um the weaker side here 
any of the stronger side you can see the weaker side is a bit weak that's why the market end up buying because the buys are stronger than the sellers right we have more positivity meaning that nasdaq is doing good sadly guys i can't cover everything in a single video already the video is too long so for those of you who want to learn more about what we're teaching guys please make sure you hit the link in the description and check out the fs code triple no only one program and that's how you're going to be able to learn everything guys we basically covered everything you need to know about the forex market with over 70 videos and that is how you're going to be able to understand everything from zero to 100 even if you have no knowledge in forex you're going to be able to learn how to trade the forex market please apply this fundamental strategy and let me know how it went for you apart from that thank you and i appreciate you guys so much fs code your mentor signing out